I am part of Azimio. I'm still Azimio and I am a member of the PNU party. And uh, when we were going to elections, uh, we used to tell the people from the mountain, you can't just go to your neighbor's house without a party. You can't just burn your house because your neighbor told you, hey, I have a mansion. You can't burn your heart and then say, let me go to the mansion, let me stay there until when they can hold me because at the end of the day, you have no right to speak in that house. And that is what is happening in the house of UDA. And it's very unfortunate that they are uh, realizing this when it's too late to change. Because when we told them, even if you want to go to UDA, go as a party, go make a coalition. But they said, no, we trust this person to Nalipa Deni. That was the song in the mountain. And at a, at a point, I remember those who were supporting UDA from the mountain even nicknamed the president Kamau. And they said, you know, our Kamau cannot betray us. And right now it has gotten to a point where they realized, oh, God. We went to somebody's house, we cannot talk. When their children eat meat and we are given githeri, we have no choice. That is why you find that on our news, we find headlines that the deputy president is being denied a state mm -hmm. chopper to go to an event. And you realize, well, they messed up, and it's okay for people to mess up politically. But the question is, at what cost is, are they making these mistakes? Right now, we are coming to the mountain and we are telling people that, you know what, Rigadi Gashagwa has seen the light. And he himself publicly said, Tuli Changanywa. And I'm asking myself, if a whole deputy president is coming on air to tell us Tuli Danganywa, mm -hmm. How again are we supposed to believe you this second time and we don't know that Utadangani Watena and you start throwing insults left, right, center to the former regime? Yeah. Because we have heard Gadi Gashagwa himself say that Ali Danganywa, Sasa Tuka Tuka na Uhuru wetu na Uhuru ni wetu tunafa tuungane tushikane na pia Uhuru ambiwe ni mesema pole. You know, it makes the young people in politics question ourselves. Are these the people that we are looking up to? Politically, okay. because you can't wake up today and insult pa somebody. Then tomorrow, when the person who sent you to insult them uh, starts sending other people to insult you, you come and tell us, "Oh, you know, I was sent." Because that time when you were doing the insults, you you were doing it and saying that okay. we are the shareholders. You even made it look as if Azimi is not supposed to be part of this nation. Okay. But now when things have gone worse to uh, worse, you are like, mm. "Oh, Azimi should come together." I'm even supporting one man, one vote, one shilling. <laughs> Gadi Gashagwa supporting one man, one vote, one shilling does not even help. Because at the end of the day, he has no say in parliament. Okay. He has no say in senate. So him talking right now is quite uh, hypocritical and he's just been a populist. Okay. That is my opinion.